Good morning, Janae. Hi, Josh. Good to see you today. Good to see you. So we're going to start this. This is going to be our two-minute rundown. I was talking with you about doing something similar to like ESPN, where they do like a little two-minute rundown. Right. And what's the something topic that be? I, I have? Know yet. So the topic today is biological versus chronological age, right? So I've got a lot of folks that ask me, a lot of coaching clients ask me about that biological age mm -hmm. and what does it mean to order one of these tests online and you're going to get some blood work and it's going to tell you that you're older than you are or maybe that you're about the same age as you are in birth years or you're going to be younger than you are. So I know you took a test. I did. What did, that, what did the test that you took tell you? So my chronological age is now 42 because I just had a birthday. And my biological age, according to my blood test, is 34, meaning I am eight years younger on the inside versus the chronological age of the number of years I've been on the planet. Which, you know, like, that's great. That's pretty cool. I, my mental, emotional age could be 15. But according to the, my blood test. Well, <laughs> <laughs> some, day, some days, yes, yes. Janae's... Uh, Social emotional IQ is definitely high, but it definitely is maybe like a senior in high school. Yeah, sometimes sure. it could be like 50 or 60 years old too. Just depends on the day. Could be. When you're using a computer. It's <laughs> exactly. Josh yesterday was like, have you ever used a computer? I'm like, oh, come on, Josh. <laughs> So, so this is what I will say, right? And I think this is really important for people to hear. It, there's a lot of this stuff that comes up in feeds mm -hmm. and people get advertised to, especially when they're very health conscious, yeah. which is there are a lot of different levers that you pull. And while it's sort of fun to see what your biological age is inside, we don't really know what this stuff means yet, right? And we've got a number of different versions of these tests and they're always getting better. And there's even some data to say that like we age like organ by organ. Mm. And so how does it work when we get the blood work in and it says Janae's 34? Well, maybe Janae's liver is 28, right? right? And maybe your heart is 32. And so how does all that work in? So the short story is it's super interesting, but it's probably something to be used as a little bit more of an entertainment value mm -hmm. and a directional measure and not something to say, hey, I'm, I'm really 34. So that's, that's the net. Right. I love that. It also gives us markers to be able to measure where we're going, right? So like this was my first for sure. You know, blood test that allowed me to see where's my starting point for this moment in my life. And if I go back in, you know, let's say 6 months from now and my chronological or sorry, my biological age goes down to 32, that tells me my systems are working more efficiently in what and and that's going to take specific work, specific actions. So that's not just going to happen if I'm, you know, not taking care of my health. But if I'm specifically monitoring that to see if I can get those numbers to change, then that that is going to give us inherent information about what is working and what's not. Even though, like you said, we don't really know exactly what it means. Yeah, but I, I totally great point mm -hmm. at, that it's all about comparison mm -hmm. and it's all about tracking the trends, mm -hmm. right? So it's a good directional marker, just like I track my well a lot of different markers right every quarter too many right this could be another one of those things <laughs> too many too many too many too much blood take the blood measure the blood <laughs> so that's it so this is it for today we'll do another one soon and uh, if you want to hear more about what we're doing check out check us out at the becoming young podcast you can send us a message on linkedin or insta or youtube wherever we're at and uh, look forward to chatting with everybody soon perfect see you guys